Sure, my love for fishing started probably when I was about four years old. Um, fishing for small little bait fish in a harbor in Hermanas. I've been fishing you know, for 30 years and it started there. And it's, Well, it's probably the fishing and the love for fishing and the love for the ocean. And it's uh, it's unexplored. It's it's every time it changes, every condition, every season it changes, every day it changes. It's never the same and it's it's very unpredictable. So that's what I enjoy about the ocean and it's um if you go dive or snorkel underneath it's every time it's something different that you see or when you fish it catches something different and it's it's never the same thing. For me it's the escape, to get away from everything, it's to clear my mind. That's the one part of it. The, the other part is the, the chase, the adrenaline to get that big fish, to get the, the big fight. Also learning from it, if you if you lose the catch of the day or your biggest fish, you, you see it, you lose it and it's that, it's not losing it that attracts me but it's the, the you know, trying to get it again, trying to beat your personal base to catch a bigger fish. It's probably just a rush. Well, the day, if I don't catch anything, it's still better than a, a good day at work. So even if it's the worst day at the beach, you're still outside. If it's wind or rain or, you know, very hot or whatever, it's, you're out in nature. In Oman, fishing for giant trevallies has been a bucket list fish forever. And um, yeah, we got to Oman and uh, the first year I tried catching GTs and I could never get them very temperamental and very short season to try and catch them and the one morning i got up early and my wife told me why aren't you going fishing i'm like nah it's i'm not really feeling it. she's like go you're gonna be um regretting it and i went and i uh, saw a few guys catching gts and on a certain areas and it wasn't cutting it for me and i moved away from everybody and i found this perfect little area and first class I hooked up with a proper GT and um, yeah and I caught probably like five GTs in three hours period and it was it was really uh, yeah it's it's something I will remember forever it's probably one of my best fishing experiences um, those fish are force brute force they are like gangsters from the reefs you know they they take and they run and you just have to lock and hold them and it's yeah, it's incredible. It's, it's it's hard on your body because you need to cast and it's repetitive actions and it's the heavy big lures and you, you're fishing in wind and it's all the elements against you and you need to try and get the lures and stuff always in the correct place and it's it's difficult but if everything lines up and everything just calms down then you catch them. Yeah, so no, it's, that's probably one of my highlights. Um, well, one of my dreams would be to fish for a living um, travel the world, fish everywhere, take those fishes off the bucket list and just, you know, try and catch anything you can catch. Um, yeah, that is probably the biggest dream that I have, go see the world and fish everywhere I can, catch the biggest fish every, in every place of the world, you know.